Protests at two Central Texas universities Monday afternoon paint two very different pictures. At Texas State University, their pro-Palestine demonstration started around noon with students standing in solidarity with Palestine as the Israel-Hamas war continues. We have empathy for these people. We care about these people and we want them to live. University administration says campus police were monitoring the protest, making sure everything stayed orderly. Texas State University police are here. Uh, Texas State University, being a public university, has uh, protocols in place. The university says no outside agencies were called in to help with the demonstration. But it was a different story 45 minutes up the road at the University of Texas at Austin. Oh my God! Oh my God! Just a few hours into the start of UT's pro-Palestine protest, multiple Texas law enforcement agencies started enforcing the university's dispersal notice. Students received an email saying if they didn't evacuate the protest area, they would be subject to arrest. I spoke with one student who says he experienced something even worse. We were protesting this van leaving with a bunch of our arrested fellow students and after they couldn't push us back further, um, I saw the mace, one of the cops, just start raising it point blank at our faces. Me and one other person just go mace. Students at Texas State say they see what's happening at UT and thank their administration for not bringing that same reality. We're not being heckled by cops. Knowing that I'm not, you know, going to get removed from campus permanently just for using my First Amendment right. One student says the biggest difference between the two protests is the support from administration. Texas State student Cedric Olivares says UT Austin President Jay Hartzell continues to disregard concerns from students and faculty. He says he's grateful that's not the case at Texas State. What matters to them does not matter to him, clearly, but with President Dampouse it's different because what matters to us matters to him because it's just all one big family. Meanwhile, students at UT are still grappling with what's happened on the 40 acres just within the last few days. I have seven friends who were put in jail last Wednesday. I have three friends who were pepper sprayed today, and all of us are fairly educated, fairly peaceful kids, so it was, it was a little insane. but. For the second time in a week, law enforcement descended on the University of Texas in Austin, arresting dozens of protesters. Thank you. This time, an impromptu encampment set up early Monday afternoon and was surrounded by the Texas Department of Public Safety troopers. Late in the afternoon, we watched Austin police officers go into the encampment and start arresting people one by one. Henry Cohen is affiliated with campus organizers. I've been around police misconduct a good amount, and this I would say is some of the most violent, maybe only second to last Wednesday. That stays after more than four dozen people were arrested during a protest last Wednesday, only for the Travis County attorney to reject all charges against them. Those students say campus communication to them has been minimal, including some of their statuses as students. We as PSC haven't been getting clear um, um, communication with admin. We have emailed them asking to speak with them about the suspension and we have not gotten a response back. UT President Jay Hartzell is also facing criticism from his own faculty. As of Monday morning, more than 500 UT faculty have signed on to a letter urging no confidence in the university president. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.